Vladimir Putin, besides being the leader of the largest country in the world, is a manly man. Or at least that's the vibe he gives off by doing things like fishing with no shirt, practicing judo with worthy opponents, or by befriending the Night Wolves, Russia's biggest motorcycle gang. The Night Wolves are led by this guy, Alexander Zaldostanov, also known as the Surgeon. Now, that seems kind of intimidating, especially in the context of a hulking, tattooed leader of a motorcycle gang. But apparently, Zaldostanov was actually a surgeon, a literal licensed surgeon. These images of the Night Wolves were taken by Russian photographer Sergei Nikolaev during the grand opening of biker season, which I assume is when the weather gets warm enough for motorcycle rides, and not when hunters can legally go out and capture and tame wild motorcycles. Annual opening of the motorcycle season in St. Petersburg begins in the heart of the city, at the Palace Square. Members of all motorcycle clubs get together uh, when they go to a place of celebration, uh, as a united great column. On this day, the last time of at the uh, Night Falls were at the head of the column. He has come at the opening of seasons in St. Petersburg for the first time. I felt compelled to the capture uh, the event because Zoldastanov is a celebrity, a media person and his participant uh, in the opening was not typical for our city. And that seems to be how a lot of Russians perceive the surgeon and his gang, as celebrities. And they like what they stand for. In my opinion, the, the majority of Russians support ideas promoted by the Night Wolves. Those Night Wolf endorsed ideas are immense patriotism, a strong belief in the Russian Orthodox Church, and also sentiments that are anti-West, anti-feminism, anti-gay, and anti-Ukrainian revolution. And because they're so outspoken about these beliefs, others inside Russia don't see them as celebrities at all. Other Russian motorcycle gangs in particular aren't big fans of the Night Wolves. Motorcycle gangs are famous for having fierce rivalries, but this time it's not because of drugs or territory rights or someone's old lady. Russian gangs like the Dobermans and Russia's chapters of Hell's Angels think that there's no place for politics and religion in the world of motorcycle gangs. The Night Wolves think otherwise. Not only do they make bike pilgrimages to holy sites, but they're basically a Putin PR department on two wheels. As a publicly recognized close friend of the gang, Putin has gifted them state land along with government money to help build a new headquarters. And he sold land to the gang in Crimea for 0.1% of its actual price so that they could build a patriotic center for entertainment and extreme sports. One biker went as far as saying that the Russian motorcycle community is divided in two. On the one side are the Night Wolves, on the other side, everybody else. Outside of Russia, the Night Wolves have been sanctioned because of their close ties to the Kremlin. The United States has barred the gang from entering the country or doing any financial dealings with the US because some members took up arms in Russia's fight against Ukraine. During the conflict, they stormed a natural gas facility in Sevastopol, which, by the way, is the same town their new sports center will be located. They have also been banned from entering Canada, Germany, Poland, and the entire European Union. But the Night Wolves consider this an accomplishment, as international recognition for their support of their beloved home country. A country where people will line up just to watch them ride down the street. A country where a motorcycle gang can be a national treasure, and its leader the best friend of the president. The Cold War might be over, but there are a few places left in Russia that really don't act that way. Click now to check out our new video on Russia's secret cities. Throughout the Cold War, the Soviet Union created 44 cities that were kept secret from the world. These cities were dedicated to making weaponry, specifically nuclear bombs. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, thanks for watching.